there's a saying, you're only one job away from the end. I've had thoughts of ending it, taking my own life. I got as far as planning how I'd do it, and a colleague stepped in when they noticed I was withdrawn. Well, uh, I've got a late job, so, um... <sighs> Sorry. I thought you were going to be going to be a day off, and you were going to have the kids to bed. Yeah, I know. Um, just, um, tell the kids I'll see you in the morning, OK? Before they go. I fell asleep in the car park at work after a 17-hour shift just as well, because I don't think I'd have made it home. I'd say does it take someone dying before changes happen, but we've lost colleagues due to the pressures and nothing changes. I'm tired all the time, but I can't sleep. I'm angry inside and I snap at my family and friends. I hate what this is doing to me. There's a line the trust crossed some time ago. Crews working 14, 15 or 18 hour shifts, that's way past the line of what's acceptable. We see more and more senior managers, more and more being spent on top end lease cars and we're drowning here. I cry in the shower every day before I put on my uniform. So, tell the kids I'll see you in the morning, okay? I've got to go. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's fine. It's, but I've got to go, love. All right. I'm sorry. I'll be home as quick as I can, okay? I've nodded off with the wheel on the way home more than once. I've been awake for more than 20 hours. The last year, it's been hell, literally hell. I'm always tired and can't concentrate. I don't sleep well, and my appetite's poor. I'm often unwell and attend work because I'm scared of being sanctioned. It's all big stick and I'm ashamed to say I'm scared of my employer. If you speak out, you'll be targeted. If you raise a complaint, it will be ignored and they'll use words like capability to question if you can hack the job. The longest shift I've worked this month is 19 hours, with an hour's driving to and from the station I had to work from.
The trust keeps saying they're listening, but things are getting worse, not better. That's more frustrating than just being honest and telling us they don't care and won't help us. You keep going because you care about your community and your patients, but who cares about us? I get home so late, my kids are always asleep. My wife's told me she feels like a single parent. The job's tough anyway, but the lack of care shown by the trust makes things a million times harder. I've missed birthday parties, parents' evenings, just being there to kiss my kids goodnight. Yesterday I left home at 5am and got home at midnight. Mentally that kills you. We're disposable to our employer. They've made things worse over the last year. If the board were made to work 18 hour shifts of it, they'd bring in some changes very rapidly. General broadcast, any available resource in Clapton, outstanding code 9. Any resource able to assist, outstanding code 9.